Hi YouTube. It's uh, Shane the uh, Tobacco Guy. Um, today we're going to review Bells, Three Nuns. Well, there's an old story behind this. Well, the story is as old as tobacco. This is one of the older tobaccos around, just three nuns. Um, over a hundred years ago was originally blended in Scotland I believe um, I've been through a few other different companies since that the the uh, blend has changed a little bit I believe believe it was Perique there's a Perique in here Virginia Perique and now it's a fire cured mm, let me see what that is it's a fire cured Kentucky in here now. Doesn't really say much on the can. Um, tobacco, none nicer. So let's fire it up and we'll talk about it a little bit. I'm outside tonight, it's a beautiful night in Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, outside of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It's uh, March 8th, it's probably 45, 50 degrees here, beautiful. Um, Okay, so this is a pretty cool tobacco. It's a, uh, it's almost like a flake. It's not a flake. It's like a half a flake. Uh, sorry, um, and it rubs. You know, it's like, it's like a spun flake. Rubs out a little bit like a flake, but it's kind of half spun, half. It's very interesting, but it packs nice and it's, uh, I'll show it to you. Mmm, the smell. It smells really sweet. And almost like a silage, silage, um... There's a chunk of it. I'll show you what it's all about. You know, it's it's um, you know, it has some small um, you know, I don't know if you can see that well or not. You know, it's just basically Virginia's um, a little bit of dark fire Kentucky's in there. And some of it's kind of it's almost like a ribbon cut, some of it, and some of it's like a flake cut. But it breaks up pretty nice, and <clears throat> it um, it goes in the bowl pretty nice and lights up pretty nice. It smells great, very sweet, um, almost like a grassy, um, sweaty grass, uh, wet grass. Um, Not a lot of flavour to it. Um, it's smoky. It's uh, tobacco-y. Um, Virginia's. Um, a hint of spice from probably that um, Kentucky.
it's good. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's something you would keep in your rotation where, as to where you didn't know where what to smoke that day and you would kind of, you know, I don't know, everybody's different. Somebody smokes some Virginia, somebody smokes some aromatic, somebody smokes both, somebody smokes... This is something in the middle, well, it's not, not aromatic at all. Um, but it's, if you were that guy that smoked a little bit of this and a little bit of that and a little bit of... This is like a middle ground good tobacco. Um, Get that, they got burly in there, you know. Um, it's if you're conflicted in what you want to smoke, this would be a good thing to go and smoke because it shoots right up the middle as it's just a good, straight, basic tobacco smoke. Sweetness almost to like a, a dark sweetness, like a brown sugar um, not a very st you know it's medium bodied good strong flavor but the flavor is it's not a flavor it's a, it's a well, it is a flavour, but it's not a flavour of anything, it's a flavour just of that fire cured tobacco. Um, it's just like an old man's smoke, you know, like, a, like a, you know, my grandfather would have smoked this type of stuff. good way to look at any of these pipe tobaccos um, <clears throat> I believe <clears throat> are, are to review them is to say oh you know would I buy that again or would I smoke that again you know that would I you know would I buy another ten of it definitely I'd smoke it again and definitely I'd always buy another ten of it a um, little expensive but still it's it's worth having it's worth having in the in the rotation or the cellar or whatever you want to call it. You know, it's, it's, it's basically, it's a, it's, a, it's a great tobacco with no bells or whistles. Um, Smoking it out of a uh, an Ascorti. Um, I, I don't smoke many straight pipes. This is one of my straight pipes, and this is a good little pipe because you can set it down. It'll sit. It's got a deep bowl, a big bowl. Um, you can use plenty of tobacco in it. Um, it's a good pipe. Don't use it that much. Shouldn't say I don't use it that much. I don't use it as much as my others, but I do. I do smoke out of it. Pretty regular. Um, once every couple of weeks, maybe maybe one once a week. It's a good pipe if you want to sit and smoke a pipe for an hour plus and you want to relax this is a good pipe to smoke these guys make a good pipe a scorty i reviewed a tobacco the other day and i got these lighters in the meal you know how's your normal little pipe tools 
your little scraper, your little punch, and your little uh, poker. Um, I paid seven dollars for these ladies. I bought two of them. They come out of China. I didn't know they come out of China. I actually forgot I bought them, and they, they come a month later. But I said I would give an update on them, <clears throat> and uh, I have had now three or four days, and I have never had a fillet. And I smoke four or five pipes a day, maybe six. Um, I haven't had a fillet. It's uh, running pretty good so far, so good. I'm happy with this one. I don't. Know. Um, B A O F later. B O A F A Bofa Ba Ofa later Well You know this is a very good tobacco guys um, If you haven't tried it you should go and try it um, for the people that like Virginias and sweet tobaccos and good all around, it's a very good up the line middle middle of the road tobacco. Um, I'll keep smoking it. So as I always say, put that in your pipe and smoke it. <laughs>